to start with Parliament because it has passed the Criminal Offences Amendment Act 2022, which seeks to replace death penalty with life sentence. In Ghana, the death penalty is imposed after a conviction for murder, attempt to commit murder, genocide or piracy, or even smuggling of gold or diamond. However, some human rights activists have argue that the death penalty is too final and irreversible, thereby demanding a replacement with life sentence. We have more on this report. Parliament on Tuesday passed the Criminal Offences Amendment Act 2022, which aims at replacing death penalty with life sentence. Now, death penalty, also referred to as capital punishment, is a state-sanctioned execution of individuals convicted of murder, attempt to commit murder genocide, or piracy, smuggling of gold or diamond. This execution is often carried out by firing squad or hanging. Some human rights activists have, however, argued that the death penalty is too final and irreversible. The Member of Parliament for Medina, Francis Xavier Sosu, on July 25, 2022, presented to Parliament an amendment bill seeking to repeal this particular law. The House on Tuesday passed the bill. Here is the Member of Parliament for Futu, who doubles as the majority, the Deputy Majority Leader, Alexander Fenyomarken, addressing the media after the passage of the bill. And the question is that the Criminal Offences Amendment Bill 2022 be now read a second time. Those in favour say aye. aye. Those against say no. The ayes have it. Honourable Members, the Criminal Offences Amendment Bill 2022 is and duly that, read the third time and passed. An act to amend the Criminal Offences Act 1960, Act 2-9, to substitute the penalty of life imprisonment for the death penalty and to provide for related matters. The Criminal Offences Amendment Bill 2022 is read the third time and passed. That is not to say that those who take it upon themselves to take the lives of others are being encouraged to do so. But what we are saying is that God gives us life. And under no circumstance should a person's life be taken merely because of commission of such an offense. In it place, we have introduced a life imprisonment, meaning that such a person will not have the opportunity to come back to our society to commit such an offense, possibly again. So I think that is a day to celebrate. Some irate youth from the Asokore Mampo municipality in the Ashanti region on Sunday attacked the Asawasi police station following the death of their colleague. Now, this was as a result of alleged police brutalities meted out to the 32-year-old Yusuf in a soup conducted by the police. In a statement on the floor of parliament, the member of parliament for Asawasi, Mohammed Mubarak Muntaka, expressed concern about the situation, urging the House to summon the Minister of Interior to provide facts on the matter. I'm worried deeply for this sad death. And I know the police have very good professional police officers who are doing their best to protect all of us. But there's growing perception that each time they are entering into the Zongo community, they go with some bias. As we can if you remember, there was this death of Osman Audu here. The, up to date, the police had never given a final determination. There was also the death of the seven Zongo guys in Kumasi, if you remember, Mr. Speaker, that I made a statement, it went on to investigate, I led by a high court judge, they were able to say that the guys were no armed robbers, they, the families were compensated. But Mr. Speaker, as we stand today, the perpetrators have never been brought to book. And it can go on and on. I can't, I, I've lost count the number of times I have to make this statement. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker it is on this basis that I'm making a request to this house to once again invite the Minister for Interior to update the house from the police end what truly happened that led to the death of this innocent young man. I hereby direct that the Minister for Interior 
brief the house by the close of the sorry by a week today that will be the first first August is that right a week today will be August 1st yes so the Minister for Interior is hereby ordered to brief the house about the cause of the violence and the attack of the police station at Aswanze on or before the 1st of August 2024, uh, 23. The Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagman, constituted a seven member committee chaired by the Member of Parliament for Ebuakwa South, Samuel Atachia, with assistance of a technical person by name Dr. Isaac Late Anan, who is a human rights expert and a lawyer, to institute a probe into the leak tape regarding plans by the government to rig the upcoming general elections by removing from office the Inspector General of Police, Dr. George Ekufodampare. The special committee will be chaired by Honorable Atta Achia, and with him from the majority side, are Honorable Yaobuama and Honorable Ophelia Mensa. On the minority side, we have the Vice Chair, Honorable James Agalga, and with him are Honorable Eric Opoku and Honorable Peter Lanchine Tubu. The technical person is a lawyer a human rights expert in the name of Dr. Isaac Lati Annan. I will specifically state that the committee should submit a report by 10th September. Parliament will not sit on Wednesday, July 26, 2023, due to a national conference that requires the presence of the Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagman, as well as members of Parliament. Reporting for City News, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okain.